Hi guys. Yesterday I was a little emotional, very stressed out, frustrated, kind of let it all out on camera. I'm here to report that today is a better day. Yesterday was a stressful day, but we're starting off on a good note. And the only thing that I can do today is breathe and not let this um, stress me out all day because like the thing is, yes, I can stress out about it all I want very easily, but me stressing about it won't change what's happening across the country in California. And I just have to trust and believe and um, that's all I can do. Today's Tuesday, it's a gorgeous day out. The sun is out. I'm gonna go for a walk. It's 9 a.m. Um, I edited Vlogmas this morning. My routine is like I wake up so like this morning I woke up at 6.45, I import the footage. It takes about 30 minutes to import. So while that's importing, I mean, I guess I could always do it the night before. I don't know why I don't do that. But while it's importing, I read. Um, so I, I wanted to wake up to read anyway. So I guess that's why I do it in the morning. Um, while that imports, I read and then I go edit. I typically editing takes anywhere from an hour to an hour and 15 minutes, but today took a little bit longer. Today's gonna be a great day. I'm very um, excited for my to-dos today. So like I said, I'm gonna go take a quick walk. Um, I found like this 20 minute loop that I love. So I'm probably just gonna go walk that and listen to the toast. Once I get back from my walk, I'm going to be setting some intentions for the New Year's and some goals, lighting a candle, sitting in front of the fireplace, making it like a whole mood because I am filming. I have to pre-record a bunch of episodes this week for um, the end of the year for Manifest because my podcast network, they start their winter break this Friday, so I have to have all my episodes to them and they don't return until after the new year. So I need to do like New Year's episodes like tomorrow and then Thursday. Today's another episode that I'm going to record, but it's going to be like a fun holiday themed episode. So nothing like too heavy today, but I want to have my resolutions written out so that when I do those episodes tomorrow and Thursday, I have like clear goals. I know like where my year's headed. And there's also a couple of things with my podcast network that I need before they come back in the new year. And like I have changes to the show that I want to make starting in the new year. So they need to like be aware of it before the new year. And I need to plan out everything for that before. So I'm taking the time this morning to do that. So I'm going to write out intentions and goals this morning. And then after that, I'm going to record my podcast episode that goes live on Monday. And then after that, I am making a new digital manifest planner product. I'm very excited. Um, I don't know if I'm going to tease it yet, but I'm going to start making that today. It's I think it's going to be a rather quick product. And then once that's done, I am supposed to go to the bank at some point. So I need to go to the bank. Oh, you know what? While I'm out on my walk, I should also just stop at the post office. And then tonight, my best friend, Lindsay, is in town. So she's going to come over and I'll make us dinner. And um, I asked her to sleep over. So we'll see if she sleeps over. Let me get my outfit ready for a walk. The problem is it's just so cold out, but I still want to be cutie when I go on my walkies. <laughs> Yesterday I wore all black, so I think today I'm just going to switch it up and go tan. And I think I'll just do like leggings and TNA socks. You know what's so funny with editing Vlogmas is I keep feeling like I... I am so behind in my day because I'm like starting my days later because I'm editing first thing in the morning, but it's like I'm starting my day at nine, but I already put in like an hour of work. It just feels, I just constantly feel a little behind in my day on Vlogmas and I feel like my days are much shorter because I spend the mornings editing, but whatever. Okay, let's change and I'll see you guys out on the trail. I forgot how much I really like this top. Like every time I put it on, 
I just really love the color of it. I also sound so dramatic, but when I open up the windows, I have to twist it with my thumb, and my thumb is developing a callus from my windows. really great the post office took a while it always does for some reason I feel like it's like 2 p.m. and then I look at the clock and it's only 10 15 but like that took a while right because I remember I was like 9 a.m. like I feel like this is like taking a long time and I didn't even like walk far like I walked like a, it was like a 20 minute walk yeah all the Christmas stuff is definitely coming in I need to go to Target and get stuff to wrap it all I actually need to go back to the post office because the girl was like, do you have anyone to help you? And I was like, why? And she was like, you have a lot of packages. I was like, I do? Um, and there were two big packages that Lindsay ordered to organize that we didn't know where they went, but they just went to the post office. So I'm gonna go back and pick that up with my car maybe later today or tomorrow. I'm gonna plug in the tree and turn on the fireplace because I am setting intentions Remember like all day yesterday I was freezing all day? Not today, I'm feeling good today. I'm really going to miss Vlogmas when this is done. I'm really gonna miss this. I'm like very much so enjoying myself and talking to you guys every day. The editing is not bad. Like this is, the whole thing has been really great. And I also feel just very in the rhythm of it and like in the groove of it. So to stop it would be breaking momentum that I feel like I really have right now. This is Bloom. I posted it yesterday and one day last week when Lindsay was here too. Um, I like this, I think it tastes good. This is the mango one, I just got it on Amazon. Its whole thing is that it's supposed to like de-bloat. I don't know if it really works. I, that's not why I do it, I do it because it makes me feel healthy. <laughs> I'm not even lying, it actually does taste very good. <laughs> mm. Mm. Like, the Breville could never. To plan my intentions, by the way, I'm using the Digital Daily Manifest Planner, um, and there's a goal section in this. So if you guys purchase this planner, um, the whole front section of the planner, whether you get a dated version or an undated version, is about goals for um, the next upcoming year, five years, three years, six months, one week today. So, so, like some days I like to start at five year goals and then work backwards, but today I'm starting at today goals and then moving forwards. Um, Cause that's gonna get me to where I wanna be in a year, which is where I need to tell my podcast network today, like what I wanna do for the new year. So that's why I'm doing that today. I'll have a link to it down below. It's an instant digital download, so no shipping. <laughs> feeling amazing um got all my goals written out intentions i feel very clear-minded going into um this upcoming year and like the direction that i want to take the manifest planner my podcast stride myself like everything feels really compartmentalized and really good in my brain so i'm so glad that I did that this morning. That's one of those things that's like, obviously it's not quote unquote work and I'm doing it during work hours. Like I could have done it, but 
I took the time to do it and now I feel like because of that, my work is going to be so much better because of it. So I'm so glad that I did that. So now I'm gonna go record my podcast episode. Um, I'm doing things I'm loving this holiday season, like products I'm loving, but it's like a cozy holiday edition. Um, and I'm so excited for that. And then um, I think my mom's coming over to pick up a couple gifts for my sister that we're shipping out today because my sister's not coming home for the holiday she lives. Um, across the country in Idaho, so we're shipping out her gifts today. Um, I ordered groceries, they'll be here in a few hours, and I'm gonna make Marry Me chicken tonight, but with penne pasta and a side of kale salad instead of um, like chicken and then like two other sides. I'm just gonna make it like a pasta dish. We're gonna be doing a lot of this this week. I'm recording today, tomorrow, and Thursday. Ooh, that's the White Lotus theme song, if you couldn't tell. Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Manifest with Tori D. Simone. Time for soup. I actually haven't even eaten yet and I didn't even realize it. It's almost two o'clock, it's 1.40. That's weird. So I have, remember the soup that I made on Saturday? I'm just gonna finish that up today. Um, my mom is also coming over because the cleaning ladies are at her house so she wants to get out of the way. So she's coming over here with Ringo and I have to wrap my sister's present and give that to my mom so that she can ship that out today. And then I think she wanted to go for a walk. So maybe we'll just do like that loop that I do quickly because I don't have time for a five mile walk right now. And then I'm gonna do the digital stuff, but today's like flying by. I just threw on a little jacket, some leggings and hugs. Ringo, what do you think of my home? Ringy. Ringo hates life, and I'm not even exaggerating. He's afraid of everything. He's afraid of being alive. He's also afraid of dying, because he is just, he's afraid of everything. This is exactly what I mean when I say Ringo is afraid of life. Just lay, you're literally on a couch. Just chill, lay down, stop complaining. This is cute, smile, you look so cutie with Ringy. You're not gonna smile? You're so weird. I don't think my sister watches these, but Maddie, if you're watching this, skip ahead. Oh yeah, those. <laughs> Look how cute this is. <laughs> That's really cute. Are these like not the cutest little thing? It's yeah. a koozie for your drinks. <laughs> and I thought this looks like a jacket that she would wear. Totally. But now it gives your little thing handles too. <laughs> How freaking cute. Okay, I'm having my mom guess what I'm making based off of my groceries. So here's one hint. I think you're gonna be able to guess, but here's another. Pineapple, hint. onions, peppers. That's another hint. This That's cottage hint. cheese. You're making yeah. a frittata. <laughs> yeah, I am. Woohoo. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you'll be, really like it. Yeah, oh, we can make that to, you wanna make that yeah, today? Yeah, we can make it right now. All right, yeah, and we'll you can bake it, it and save well, it. Well, we'll take him so that he gets a little tired. Okay. And then we'll run some errands and then we'll make that. Oh, I got these. Yes, those are the best ones. I love that brand. I just bought their Italian bread yesterday at Aldi and it's 40 calories a slice and like seven grams of fiber. Yeah, I got this because you told me about the fiber. I cannot believe how much, I, somebody's gonna say something about why they're terrible, but you know what? They look really good. They look good on your on track. Paper. Yep. yep, this is the thing for There you go. Yep. And this, and this is also for this. Okay. Okay, so that's another hint. All right, yeah, that's one I didn't figure out. Pineapple, peppers, onion, broccoli. I feel like the giveaway is pineapple. Well, a stir fry of some sort? Yes, stir fry. Okay. Chicken? Yes, chicken stir fry with rice. Nice. Is that for tonight? No, tomorrow. Tonight we're oh, gonna tonight marry you're me marry chicken me. with penne. Pasta, that's right. Oh, your lime juice. Lime is this how you get it? Um, well, Weapons didn't have the one that I wanted. So I just got their fresh pressed. Okay. Lime juice. But do you want to try some? In um, water? I've had the other one that you have. It's I've never so had Wegmans. Good. It is. It's much, I never think to buy it that way. Where do you find it at the store? Is it in the produce section? Well, on Instacart, you just search for it. Oh. But in the store, this is like right by all the fresh pressed juices and like the pre-cut veggies and stuff. <laughs> or gallons of ranch. <laughs> Oh, you have a good bottle of wine in there. Yeah, do you want to drink it? It's tempting. It's my favorite wine. I know, it's open, so it needs to be drank. 
you know, it'll stay. I opened it for a recipe, mm -hmm. and then I realized that the recipe called for a tablespoon. Oh. I just need to buy boxed white wine for cooking. Yeah, that's exactly right. Ringo, do you want to go? I didn't do anything. <laughs> want to go for a walk? Saddest cheese board to ever exist. But a sad cheese board beats no cheese board, in my opinion. All right, what should we watch now that we're both done White Lotus? Um, what? He's scared of something. He's hiding behind me. He's trembling. On my headboard? <laughs> <laughs> Oh God. Hey, I haven't watched Elf yet. <laughs> you haven't? No. Should we watch it? Sure. Oh, hello. You're, uh, you're probably here about the, the story. You can bake what? cookies in a tree. What? As you can imagine, it's a dangerous having you rub in an oak tree during the dry season. No, you're gonna hide. But the third job, some call- We are gonna make um, an egg frittata. Let me pause Elf. We are gonna make an, what? No, go ahead. We're gonna make an egg frittata, which this is my mom's favorite breakfast recipe at the moment, and she's been telling me to make it. And I got all the stuff to make it. So mom, I think you should take over. This is your show. Hey, I don't think you get enough protein in your days. I know you love your oatmeal, and oatmeal's great, but I, some days it's good to start with protein. No, I definitely agree. I definitely need more protein. Um, and the thing I like about this one is the cottage cheese. <laughs> Honestly, I don't like cottage cheese normally, but in this, it makes the eggs very um, fluffy, really creamy, creamy and fluffy. It's delicious. My mom's on a um, metabolism healing journey. How do we say that? Yeah, that's do I scramble right. these? Yeah, we'll we'll mix everything all up. I don't do it now. You yeah. can. My mom cooking spray. Yeah. How do you explain it? Macro, you're tracking your macros, I'm tracking but macros. for the purpose of it's your metabolism. It's right. Like, obviously, weight loss is your end goal. After years of chronic dieting, yo-yo dieting, having a horrible relationship with food, um, and, and menopause has not helped. Um, this is, what I'm doing is a series of reverse diets. You reverse for like a six weeks, mm -hmm. meaning you just increase your calories every week to a specified amount. I will put the recipe in the description because my mom already typed it out, so all I have to do is copy and paste it. Yes. <laughs> so I'll put it in the description. But two whole eggs, two cups of liquid egg whites. So this has been her go-to res restaurant um, recipe. Yeah, absolutely. No, yeah, because it gives you like 28 grams of protein in the morning. Oh, no, and that's fabulous. Hello. Do you have like the new, um, like laptop charger? Um, I can send you a picture. Oh, no, mine's on a USB C, but I have like another version of a new one. But I have USB C if you need USB C. Okay, I mean, I have to work my teeth. okay I'll see you soon. It'll be higher in fat. 
I don't like cottage cheese. I know she's trusting me big on this because she doesn't like it. Okay, yeah, three quarters cup of cottage cheese. And just kind of mix everything all together. You did the eggs already. I did the eggs. And then a third cup of shredded sharp cheddar. You can just do a handful. You don't have to measure exactly. Yeah, so we'll try it out tomorrow, guys. Yeah, you're cooking this for future use. Yeah. Ham and broccoli. You want me to chop one? Yeah. Which one you want to chop? Okay. I'm not sure how much I said, but yeah, that, you don't want it any bigger than that. Salt and some pepper. This is what it looks like, guys. I think for this, um, for that amount, you would either want like a eight by eight square or nine by nine square pan, and then just cook it and you cut it into, after you cook it, 30 minutes at 400, scoop it, um, cut it into four equal portions, put them in Tupperware. Yeah, that's enough. You don't want to fill more than that. And put it in Tupperware, keep it for yourself overnight, and just warm it up for a minute in the morning. This is what they look like in their little muffin pans. Okay. Bye. See you soon. So they didn't really turn out the prettiest. <laughs> you guys like literally should have seen the shit show that just was happening for the last couple of minutes. So we opened up the oven, they way overflowed. So if you're gonna put them in muffin pans, just do less than I did, like half of it. And um, then the smoke detectors were going crazy. And then Ringo tried to escape because the door was open and the smoke detectors were going crazy. They still work though. Yeah, they're still cooked, they're just not pretty. <laughs> Hey girl. Hey Lynn. This turned out so good. So this is the marry me chicken that I made into pasta sauce with penne. So the only thing that I do is add pasta water to it. And it looks like this. Perfect. Lynn's? You want a cookie? Just one? Did you want that one? Yeah. Thank you, guys. I did. Alright, so what flavor did you get? Spiced pear. What I've made for you today was a spice.